All right, you ready? I don't want to do this. Go! <laughs> That went exactly as I wanted it to go. All right, here's your Mike and Ikes with all the Ikes taken out. I hope you were careful, because I swear to God, if I find one Ike in there, I am going straight to Babs. It's fine. I double-checked. Here's your Mikes. What's next? Next, I want you to fly to France and tell French people that a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. <clears throat> people of France! A good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. All right, you got my catchphrases for me? I just want you to know this was a huge pain in the ass. Peter's New Catchphrases by Carter Pewdishmit. Title's all business. I like that. Also, I've been under the weather lately, so it may not be my best work. Shape up or show me your balls. <laughs> That's good. Well, really? Well, uh, how about this one? In your face, Nancy Grace. Oh, I love it. Oh, man, there are a lot of good ones here. Fire alarm? I am the fire alarm. Find your own beach house, Krabby. Put that in your office and frame it. Yeah, last one's kind of lame. Did you get down to the one at the bottom there? Which one? On your mark, get set. Terrible. Oh, this one here. If you got a problem, take it up with my butt. He's the only one that gives a crap. Oh my God, that's it. Yeah. That's that's the one. I thought that's, you liked... yeah, you you were oh, amazing. Well. Take it up with my butt, cause he's the only one who gives a crap. Wow, what a great sentence. You know, Lois, I've noticed Peter and Carter spending a lot of time together lately. It's nice to see them finally getting on. I know. Who would have thought, huh? Boy, I can't wait to get this home. You know, I keep not laughing at the Big Bang Theory, and I figure it's got to be the television. You know? TV this size? Forget it. It'll have me laugh until I got snats falling out of my nose. Cara, where are you taking our television? I'm giving it to Peter. What? Why? Yeah, why, Carter? <sighs> because Peter is the best, and he is awesome, and he makes better laser sounds than I do. Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo. Damn right. You hear that, Lois? And he's not just saying that because I covered for him about his affair. <laughs> what? Carter, is this true? Yes, it's true. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Well, on your mark, get set, terrible. <laughs> no, no, but I, I understand that this is bad. You stupid, fat bastard! How could you tell her I had an affair? We had a deal! Look, I, I think you're blowing this out of proportion, Carter. She's divorcing me! Well, I don't blame her. Daddy, how could you do this to Mom? You two were perfect together. It was such a close marriage. You know, maybe the two of you splitting up is a blessing in disguise. I mean, there are obviously some problems in your relationship. Who knows? Maybe some time apart could be just what you need. Yeah, plus think of all the fun stuff you can do as a single guy. Like like, like going to loud, awful bars and not being able to hear the mediocre-looking chick next to you say something stupid. Ah, it's going to be awesome. I don't know how to do anything like that. It's easy. I'll help you meet some women, Mr. Peter Schmidt. Come on, it's been 50 years since I've been on a date. Well, how'd you get that chick on a boat, then? You know how in that movie Liam Neeson gets his daughter back? Yeah? Well, that was one of the girls their dad didn't get back. What kind of joint is this? Where's the cigarette girl? Yeah, they don't have those anymore. Peter, I, I don't know about this. I, I have no idea what women are like nowadays. Last time I was on the dating scene, Joe McCarthy was on a rampage looking for anything red. Oh, and back then I called my penis Joe McCarthy. Look, relax, will ya? Here, I got these off a website that tells you good things to say when hot women walk by. Ooh, here comes a hot one. Say the first thing on the list. Um, I, I love getting trendy cupcakes in the middle of the day for no reason. No way, so do I. Hi, I'm Paula. Carter, how do you do? Hey, why don't you and your friend come join us over at our table? Mm, Peter Griffin, how do you do? <laughs> we, we, would, we would love to. Hey, girls. These are my two new friends. Hello, ladies. My name is Carter, and I require a tremendous amount of calcium. Carter, come here. Sit next to me. Oh, this is, this is fun. We're having fun. 
Hey, what do you say we get some drinks? Hey, boy, boy, fetch me a John Barrymore and soda and three Myrna Loys for the women. <gasps> Excuse me? What the hell is your problem, you jerk? What? Does he belong to somebody else? Come on, girls, let's ditch this racist dick. What happened? Did we get laid? You jackass, those women were coming on to you and you blew it. Now we gotta go to another club and start all over again. Peter, I don't want to go to another club. I don't want women like that. I, I, I want Babs. Babs? You got a room full of chicks like that and you're thinking about Babs? She looks like someone farted in a shoe. I had a moment of weakness, but I, I know now that I was wrong. I need her, Peter. I love her. You, you, you gotta help me get her back. Well, it's probably the right move anyway. Those girls seem kind of annoying. Look at them over there, taking a group picture together. I love you. I love you. We're all such good friends. You can tell by the way we're pressing our faces together. And that's where fat girls come from. All right, if I've learned anything from romantic comedies, it's that the ex-wife always falls in love with her husband again after he befriends a little kid. Okay. And the kid needs to be really cute, so I ordered Jonathan Lipnicki. Ah, there's the cute little guy now. Hang on. Oh, my God! What happened to you? Oh! Oh! We, we gotta get you to the hospital! Ah! Ah! You're hideous! Who did this to you? Oh! Oh! Where are my keys? Where's my keys? Where are my keys? Peter, what about Babs? Forget about yourself for a second, Carter. Look what has happened to Jonathan Lipnicki! Oh, yeah. No, you're, 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 you're right. You should probably take care of that. I'll... I'll... I'll be... I'll be here. All right, look, Carter, I think this will definitely work. Now, as soon as she sees you, you got to do exactly what I... Hey, whose Duesenberg is that parked in the driveway? There's only one man I know who drives a Duesenberg. And I will buy you laudanum and rhubarb cakes to balance out your fragile body's humors. Oh, Babs, I don't wish to overwhelm you with my passions, but I must say this. I'm ever so content. Oh, I am too, Reginald. Do you think perhaps one day, if we should marry, that I could sit beside you? Yes, I think that would be fine. Get away from my wife, you rascal! Oh, such language in the presence of a lady! If it's a row you want, I will cleave you in twixt. Hey, hang on, Carter. I think I know how to take this guy down. Penis. Ah! Carter, get out of here this instant. I don't ever want to see you again. Pussycup, please. Mrs. Pewterschmidt, Carter has something important to say to you. I'll set the mood. Ba 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 bird bird bird. Ba bird's the word. Ba 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 bird bird bird. Ba bird's the word. Well, I don't you know about the bird? Well, everybody knows that the bird is the word. Uh, Peter, I I kind of want to do this on my own. Babs, I need you. Cheating on you was the worst mistake of my life. I kneel before you, a frightened soul and a broken man. A man who has nothing without you. Give me one more chance, and I pledge to place above you nothing, not even myself, for all my time here and for time forever. Please, I beg you. Carter, what you did was unforgivable. And as beautiful as your words are, I... I just don't know that they can fix what's done. I, I know I can't do it overnight, but we can still have a lot of years together. Please, just let me try. Carter, you had sex with that woman. So, no, I can't trust you. But at my age, I'm certainly not going to remarry either. So, if you'd like to move back in and take things slowly, one step at a time... I suppose I can give you the chance to earn my trust again. That sounds like a lot of work. Go to hell! Carter, what, what, what are we here for? What are we here for? All right, all right, fine, fine. I, I'm, I'm... I'm gonna try. Come here, you. 